Hi kids, welcome back to TLC's Creative Art Corner. I hope you had a very blessed week. Okay, so this time it's Doodling Patterns Part 2. Okay, so again, the materials, any paper that you have will do, paper, you know, paper plates, paper, whatever you have at home. Lined paper is fine too. Okay, pencils, okay, if you have colored pencils, that's fine. Okay, otherwise just a regular pencil. A pen is fine. If you have Sharpies, various colors, gel pens, I have a gel pen, those are always fun too. So whatever you have at home, okay? If you don't, you can get things online from Art Lab and they'll um, give you the number later. Okay, so go ahead and get your materials. Come on back and meet me here real soon. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Okay, I hope you have all your materials. Well, I have to get mine. I'm going to do mine on the whiteboard today, so I'm going to be using a whiteboard marker in a couple of different colors. Okay, this is what we did last week. We did these four different patterns, and I showed you some borders. This week, we're going to do some other additional patterns, a little more complicated than others, and then we're going to try to do a design at the end just to show you where you can go with this. This one is just with black um, fine point Sharpies or whatever, but if you wanted to do it all in color pencil, that's fine. And then this one, I did the same idea. I put a scripture verse here in the middle. I chose, the joy of the Lord is my strength from uh, Nehemiah 8.10, and I put the verse there. And then I did various designs. Now, some of these are just a variation on the pattern. As you can see here, this is the same pattern as this one, just reversed in its coloring. This one is pretty much the same as this one. Instead of straight lines, we use curved lines. Okay, and then I, some of these I chose to just color with, over again with a colored pencil. I didn't do all of them, you know, all of them, but you can do whatever you want. This one I did a gel pen. This is the gold gel pen. And then uh, some of them I just tried using watercolor, if you have watercolor, but if you don't, it's not a problem. The only thing that really I don't think is a good thing for this project is our crayons. Okay, because they, they're, they're bigger lines and, and whatnot. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to um, start with your pattern, start with your paper. This is my piece of paper, okay, and I'm just going to draw a big square on it like we did last week. Okay, see, so we start with a square. Okay, and I'm just going to make it into four sections. It can be anything. It doesn't have to be used with a ruler. You don't even need an eraser for this, but if you want, it's optional. Okay, the first one we're going to do is one called membrane. It's this one here, as you can see here and here. Now, you start with the corner, okay, and you just half circle like. And they can be irregular because membrane is like cells, okay? Start with the corners, okay, wherever they are. And then just do irregularly shaped half circles or, you know, circular squarish forms, doesn't matter, okay. Okay, make that big one. And then just come in and make all these irregular shaped forms, as many as you want, and they can be of various sizes. All my circles seem to come out the same size. I don't know why. Okay. All right, and then you can color whichever one you want. Okay, this one I'll just start to color so you get the idea. I would color in here, okay, the background of it, and leave the, okay. I'm just, for interest of time, just so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, you would fill it in much, you know, fuller, as you can see here, you know, but, you know, I could be here forever, and the whiteboard marker doesn't really hold so well. Okay, so that's the first one. This is called membrane. I'll just write it down. Okay. Okay. All right, the second pattern is, will be here. We'll call it Kiko, or it's called Kiko. My writing is not good. Okay. And it's just a series of lines. It's this one here. So you can do three or four lines, however you want to be, and don't stress, no stress, okay? So I would do four, just kind of eyeball it. It's okay if they're not real straight or parallel, okay? And then it goes off. Now the second row would be diagonal to what this is. Two, three, four. So it's simple, and then you might want to, oops, like it's going off the page, one, two, three, okay. All right, now a variation on this one is called cross stitch. Okay, so we'll make it another box, what the heck. Okay, why not? And the user would just do little crosses on a diagonal, okay. 
course, I could have used it, picked up a different color of pencil. Okay. Okay, so you get the idea, yeah? All right, so let's go on to the next pattern. Okay, great, but I want to change color. Here, I'm going to use a blue one now. Okay, the third one is called laced. It's a little bit more complicated, but manageable. Okay, what you do is start with two parallel lines, okay, and then a space can be about the same, doesn't matter, okay, like that. Okay, and then the next one can be anywhere. It doesn't, doesn't have to be right next to it. And these can be various sizes, no, no problem. Then you're going, where's laced? Or let me, I, ha, I know I did it. Oh, this one is laced, okay? Just so you see. Now there's a variation here. There's two different ways to do it, so I will show you both ways, okay? All right, so you've got your parallel lines, okay? And then you're gonna come a little way up here and then make a loop like this, okay? And if you miss this, you can make it longer, okay? So the top of the loop would be like that, okay? And then this one, maybe like that, okay? See, I can make it long if I miss it, okay? Okay, the top, so, okay, this one would be here. And this is come down like that. This would be all colored in any way, eventually. Okay, all right? So if I miss the thing, I can make it, I miss the ends. Okay, that's over there. Pretend it's off. Okay, here I'll have to make it longer. Okay, so you just do all of these, you just extend it if you need to. And you can make some of these curved if you wanted. I could make it curve off. I'll do the next one like that. Mm -hmm. And come like this. Okay. And if I wanted, I could do one like this. Okay. okay. Maybe another one here. Okay, and then I'm going to come in and fill in these parts here. So it's like going into a hole and lacing in this one. Okay, and it'll come out this one. This is the same imaginary string. Okay. So that's one, this is one variation. Now another one is, um, the one where there's blank space, you can connect these and it'll look like walkie-talkies or something from way back when, okay? So you can make these tubes. So it's a variation and you can have both of them on the same design because I, I have it like that here, so I put some curved ones, okay? Okay, just to show you. I won't do all of these, but you get the idea and then up here, okay? And then Okay, this one's called laced, okay? And then you would just continue on, okay? However you want to color it in. You know, and you could also do your lines one color and color in the dark spaces with another color. That's always an option too. It's up to you, you're the artist, okay? All right, so that's our third pattern, okay? And our the fourth pattern is called chillon, or chillon, I think. Some of these words, you know, you see them written and you don't know even how to say them although it's written in English. Okay, there you go. All right, instead of doing parallel square lines or rectangular lines, we're gonna do, just curve the line a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna just start here, curve, curve. You know, eyeball it, no big deal. Okay, doesn't have to be really curved. Okay, and here. And then we're going to go the opposite way. Okay, start. It's always easier to sort of start in the corner, okay. And wherever these cross is okay, no big deal. Okay. And then on the top lines, top lines, you're just going to go up and down. Up. Some, you have to imagine this is over here somewhere, so it's not going to come right to the thing. Here, I'll go ahead and do it like that, okay? So the top one, the top, the top. Oh, this should come all the way down. The top, this one, see, it's going to come a little bit over, okay? Top, 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 top. Okay, then the 
next one. Okay, this will be here. Okay, and then it's a little bit there. And then that you'll come and do the tap line over here. Okay. It's easier to stay on one line before you move to the other because you'll get lost. I mean, I certainly do. Okay, so you would just continue this all the way. Is that a line? Yeah. See, once you get start getting filled in, you get a little confused. Okay, here you go. And, oh, I, did, I missed that one. Okay. All right. Okay, if you wanted, you could stop here, or you can do something in the centers, which is always kind of nice. Okay, one option, you can do several things here. One option is to, like, go on the straight line, come down like a diamond, and fill it in. So it looks like a little pin, um, pin whale, I guess. Uh, those things that turn in the wind. Okay, down. Straight line, down, okay. So you could do this one, I'll do another one here, just so you get it, okay. Fill it in, fill it in. So these look like little flowers, okay. So that's one option you can do, okay. Another option, and again, you could use another color, okay. Let's try another color just for um, fun, okay? Or you can just do circles, you can circle it in. Okay, mine's gonna bleed a little bit. So all the connecting points, you could do another color, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, and another option is to do a square, and you would start like from the, the empty space and get the square, make the square, square. You know, some of these are gonna be more rectangle than others, okay? So that's another option. Okay. And color it in. Mm -hmm. I kind of like this one the best myself. But whatever you decide, it's your piece. Okay. okay. Now, I also wanted to show you a couple of others really quickly, um, variations, because I have them on here. So when you come to your final design, whatever you choose to do, I did a sunset sort of thing. Uh, this is the, and I, the idea is to use cool colors down on the earth and then the warm colors, the reds, yellows, and um, oranges for the sky. And then the cooler colors, which is the greens, the blues, and the purples down at the bottom. Okay. And, you know, you choose whatever you want to do. We did this one last week. Okay. And I'm going to show you this one. Uh, it can be a border or in the middle like that and some spiral thing we already did. Okay. Uh, anything else? Oh, and this one, I want to show you this one. Okay, so let me just clean the space here. Okay. So, back to our paper. Here, I'll just draw it again. Okay. Okay, this one we're going to do, it's called Tink. Okay. Okay, it's just a bunch of circles. They can be very different sizes. Okay all over the place, okay? And then you just connect them with parallel lines. You know, everyone gets connected to something. Okay. And then this can be off here, and this can come down there. There can be something there. You know, you can do this as many as you want, and then, okay, let's make something over there. Okay, let's make this up to here. Page. Let's like fill up the space. Okay. Oops. Oops. Error. Error. You know, if you do something like that, just make it work for you. You know, put another thing there, another circle. Here, there. So you fixed it. No problem. No need for an eraser. Okay, let's just, okay, that's good enough. And then if you want, you can just color in the circles. Okay, 
and just like this one is just the circles. Or if you want, you can color in this as well, the connecting, the connecting lines. And again, you can use a different color pen. Okay, so that's the one that's called um, Tink. Okay, so for the interest of time, but just to show you a different color, you know, maybe this color for the circles. Okay. Yeah. And then if you wanted to, you could do a another color. You know, for the lines. I don't have a straight hand today, but it's every day. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's Tink, okay? And the other one that I'll show you is called Cirque, okay? And that is this one, okay? It's a flower thing, okay? And I'll use the red because I did it here in red, okay? This is called Cirque. Okay, start with a circle, okay? It's the center of the flower, okay? And then you're going to like do a, what they call like a teardrop petal. You're going to come around, sort of like roundish. Mm -hmm. Sort of around the angle. Okay. Then you can come in with a smaller one here. A smaller one here. A smaller one here. Smaller one here. Okay. And then you can do some berries, maybe three or four berries in some of these places, one or two. Oh, and then we want to put our little petal line in the middle. Okay, give it a little bit of life and dimension. Okay. Okay, you don't need to put in uh, these everywhere, just one or two. And if you wanted, you could do a line coming out with a little thing here, just one sprig. Okay, another sprig. Okay, and then in our center, you can either do dots or you can do like curved lines and give it some texture. Okay. And that's it with that one. Okay. And if you wanted, you, know, you could fill it up with another one. Um, there. Okay. And if you wanted, you could do a leaf instead. My leaves are not good. Okay. Okay. Okay, one more tree. Okay, so it's doodling. You doodle what you want, you know. You can change this flower to be anything, okay? So that's the last one we'll do, okay? And you can use this one as a border, and you could use this as a border. You could use this as a border. You know, there's many, many things to do, okay? And then I also did a border here with um, just triangles going one direction and then an opposite direction, you know, and then you have your petals here. So there's many things to do to go around the block. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this, okay? And please send us your, your work so we can post it online and see everybody's great art. Okay, thank you for joining us this week, okay? And I hope you have a blessed week. Bye now. See you next week. Oh, one more thing, by the way, you know, if you um, are really interested in this, and there are millions and millions of patterns, you can go online and look up doodle patterns, or doodling, doodling patterns, doodle patterns, tangle patterns, these are all called tangle, but I, I like to just say doodling, you know. So you could go on and you'll get millions, millions, in fact, let me show you one, excuse me, and uh, they give you step-by-step -step directions, okay, I'll show you. See the first box, the second thing you would do, the third thing, fourth thing, okay? Some of them even come numbered. I have a one that, where they number it so you know what to do. Oh, you follow the arrows here. Okay, this is a fun one, yoga. You do these zigzags, and then they show you what to do. The second box, you follow the arrows, okay? Another one, here's a version one, we did this. Here's another version, okay, doing zigzags, okay? So all this is online, okay? So plenty of things. If your you know, mom and dad give you time online and this is what you want to do, go for it. Okay, see you next week. Bye-bye.